Hello dear chess friend, today my video will be how to attack a opponent's king by queen and rook. During the video I will ask you questions, please press pause, think about position and then continue. Let's see game. In game Spindler against Dalitz 1971, uh, it was queen's gambit developed. White play queen c2 and black playing c5 possible, and white decided play here long castle. Of course, little bit complicated position. King looks like open, right? But it's possible, possible to play like that. Queen a5, king b1, very important prophylactic. Um, opponent take here, okay, and then he takes c takes d4 and white bring rook to the game. So, black should think here how to develop. Maybe here was better rook d8 with idea knight f8, then develop c8 bishop. So that will be nice. Mm -hmm. But black decided to play active move like e5. This looks like only active, but finally that is wrong. Why it's wrong? Because it's also open as bishop who will look to king. So, where bring rook? Questions. Answer like you remember when we attack opponent king we should bring rook near opponent king so we bring rook on h4 now we attack h7 pawn what to do as black uh, if opponent play h6 what you will to play questions answer uh, after move h6 first what you focus always first that is bishop h6 <laughs> that is very nice move and after take we have not only rook h6 here we have a winning after move queen g6 because that is a pin and pawn can't take a queen only move king h8 then rook h6 and mate that's it game can very quickly finished if black play after rook h4 g6 it's a make uh weak dark squares near black king so bishop h6 here and to move one possibility queen b3 and he can't defense f7 pawn you see that is mistake of e5 and second knight g5 attack f7 pawn again can't defend it and that position is winning so black decided after rook h4 play move rook e8 maybe with idea play knight f8 and then develop bishop but now is white to move and white play very strong move knight d5 what's idea we attack f6 knight and he can't take because after that it will be check and mate so that is badly okay <laughs> what to do now idea take on f6 and then queen h7 Black decided play g6. Uh, questions. What you will to play? Answer. Now white uh, change destination and play very beautiful tactical idea knight c7 with double attack and win material. Uh, point is what opponent can't take queen c7 because check and take a queen. So here is open attack. <laughs> That's it. So knight c7 and black after some things play move e4. So what idea? He attacked knight and queen attack bishop. Yeah, he lost material, but uh, if he take queen g5, if knight moving somewhere and then queen g5, rook will be under attack. Rook h4 looks like stuck, but. <laughs> still white to move and white find it beautiful tactics so questions what you will to play white to move answer bishop f7 check king f7 then queen c4 queen c4 check bishop h6 check we look we bring more and more pieces near opponent king Queen f7, closer, <coughs> rook g8. Knight e6, you see, now we want to play 
bishop g7 and made it mate so uh, it's very hard to find any moves and black decided to play knight e8 looks like only move yeah and that's it now why two move uh questions please find checkmate in two moves answer here checkmate in two queen h7 king h7 and bishop g5 mate after bishop g5 we close that bishop so rook is not under attack and we also uh, close the queen so he can't play queen h5 to defend black king that's it so after that uh, white won uh, why black lost so quickly because of that move e5 he made weak his king so what do i do after that he just bring a lot of pieces near opponent king make weakness there and checkmate opponent king thank you for watching my video uh, if you like it please uh, push like subscribe to my channel and write comments what do you think about that video or what you want to look in another see ya bye bye